Catherine Miller's family is desperate to know where she is tonight. The Dartmouth woman has not been seen in almost two weeks. Shana Luck is just back from a meeting with her parents. Shana, this is a difficult story. What can you tell us? Well, Tom, Katie Miller's parents hoped until now that she would return home on her own. But today, they're asking anyone with any information about where she might be to contact the police. Katie Miller was last heard from on July 15th. That's the day her mother Terry received a text message. It simply said Katie had scheduled an appointment for today's date. She had made an appointment that should have been important to her because it related to her son, her grandson, uh, that was to be take place today. So we were kind of clinging to that. But Katie didn't show up to the appointment this morning. This morning when I was waiting to find out if she kept that appointment, my, my heart was in my throat. Uh, it, it, um, it's hard to explain. Are you go to bed at night wondering if she's alive or dead or, or, or who's got her or if she's been kidnapped? Um, it's the worst, worst thing I've ever had to endure, I'd say. Uh, um, Absolute worst thing. Katie is from Bedford but lives in Dartmouth. She was educated at King's Edge Hill and later at St. Mary's. After university, she went on to NSCC and trained to be an electrician. After graduation, she had difficulty finding work, leading to some problems with depression. Her parents say for her to stay out of touch this long is out of character. They're hoping someone can give a tip to investigators. To anybody who's seen her, to please let the police know, let us know, let, you know, just yeah, I, I've got her. to think that somebody knows something yeah. out there. Police tell me this is still an active investigation, but there have been no new developments since last week. Right now, officers are canvassing the neighborhood where Katie lives. They're also checking into electronic records like her bank account and her phone account. But they say that at this time, there's no reason to suspect Katie has met with foul play. Tom? All right, thanks very much, Shana. Shana Locke is live in our newsroom this evening.